especially for others to learn how to improve their lives. And that makes me feel better. And so I, I guess it's kind of a growing thing for both sides, if that makes sense. It's time for bookkeeping, beer, and BS. And Michael, maybe you can help me with this. Basically, what I want is a business that doesn't require my money or my involvement, but it makes me a lot of money. You know, like, so I don't want to really have anything to do with it. I just want it to put money in my account. Is, can, is there like a way that. to make that happen? Yeah. Parking me. But I also don't want to wait. I don't want to wait either. I want it to happen now. So that's really the only three criteria that I have. That's it. That's what I'm shooting for. Yeah. Super easy. Well, I thought I just spelled it out for you when I thought. (laughs) (laughs) Now, actually, on a serious note, Michael, um, now I know you mentioned the pride thing, and I agree. I think, I think, you know, I'll say at least most, if not all of us deal with that to one degree or another, I think we probably yeah. deal with it in different areas, you know? Um, why do you think, um, yeah, what was the struggle for you? Like, you know, because I'm sure you didn't just, I, I'm sure you knew all about delegation and I'm sure you knew all about, you know, yeah. empowering people before you started doing it. What was the hang up for you specifically uh, that kept you from doing it? Aside from the fact of, uh, I just thought I was the best or something. I mean, can you go yeah. a step deeper no, I, in that? I think it was a lot of internal fear of people being disappointed and not, and if they found out I didn't have all the answers, they wouldn't be willing to follow. Me. Hmm. Interesting. I, yeah. I actually found out just the opposite was true that when I admitted that I didn't know everything and I needed help, that I got more people trusting and willing to listen to what I had to say. So am I hearing you correctly and saying, so your concern, because it sounds like it's kind of the opposite of what a lot of people's was yours more. So the people inside your organization and not so much a concern for your clients on the outside of it. A little bit of both, a little bit of both, but most of it was inside an organization yeah. concerned that I would have staff that would, would lose their faith in me if I didn't have good answers and stuff. Um, yeah outside the organization i mean if you want to talk toward the industry as as we know it you know my customers on the kitchen exhaust and truck washing side don't lo- know me like you guys know me in the industry from powerwash.com powerwash university but there's there's always that fear that you know i would i would be be seen as doing something not not quite that intelligent or stupid or yeah you, know, you never want to come off like that mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. And I think, I think it's kind of like that, that, that social hierarchy that we all have that, you know, you, you see somebody go out there and make a fool of them themselves in public and it kind of drops. But I think, I think more than anything is probably what's helped me is that I'm, I, I try to be as sincere as I can. And there's things that I'm, that in the past I would not have been that sincere about, but I've learned that if, the more sincere I am and being open and talking about this stuff, it helps more people. And that kind of, that helps me feel like I'm leaving a legacy for others to learn how to improve their lives. And that makes me feel better. And so I I guess it's kind of a growing thing for both sides, if that makes sense. Yeah.